you guys uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I know you could be a lot of places. I appreciate you, you being here. Appreciate the 5,000 fans that showed up too. And gave us some energy. Um, I'm thankful we played a team pick second in the Patriot. And uh, I was nervous about this game. I like their talent. And, uh, you know, we grinded it out. We weren't making shots today. And we figured out a way to win a game. So we turned it over. We didn't make free throws. We didn't make threes. And we still figured out how to hold the team, you know, 20, 30 points under their average. So um, kind of a grind out old fashioned win. And, and these two guys and, you know, Shaq Dorson, uh, veteran guys made some, you know, real big plays too down the stretch east of the big three. These guys rebounds, free throws. Um, Shaq Dorson, huge rebounds. So, you know, our veteran guys really helped grind it out. And we got good efforts from everybody, but it uh, wasn't beautiful, but it's a W. And we're excited about that. Steve, uh, Eugene had 17 rebounds. He's the most by a Rutgers player in 12 years. What can you say about his effort, especially on the boards? Uh, you, know, I, you know, he's high energy, you know, in a game like this. And just love his improvement. And I've been telling you guys that every year he gets better and better and adds to his. Uh, and, and he had to guard their, their leading scorer, too. So that's Mahoney. another job that, you know, is a tough job. And, and Mahoney's a good player and, and had 20 the other day, 9 to 10 from the floor. So. Gene had to carry a lot of the weight on that end of the floor, too. But I love 17 rebounds. Whenever a guy gets 17, that's a huge number. That means he's very involved. This is the first grind-out game of the season you guys have had. Uh, and to have Eugene come up clutch in, the, in those moments, how you know encouraging is, that, encouraging is that for you to have a guy to be able to rise up in that kind of moment? Yeah, I mean, tell you what, I thought everyone kind of came up clutch. We came up with some clutch stops. He made some clutch free throws. You know, again, Shaq Dorson, some huge rebounds. Um, but Gene's a bunch of plays. Issa, you know, wasn't his greatest game. All of a sudden figured out a way to score and get the end one down the stretch. So, like, I thought I thought we had, you know, a lot of our guys come up clutch for us. And, and again, dangerous game right after Thanksgiving, um, you know, against a good opponent. And, and, and Coach Jones does a really good job with the BU team. Steve, is this a, a team that you now uh, may be getting an identity, being a very good defensive team? And, and, and is that something you want to have? As you, as you know, I really do, and I think we've taken a huge step in the last couple games, you know, and I always say to them, you know, the first couple games, every three went in. You know, that, that doesn't happen. Um, you know, now tonight, the threes didn't go in. But luckily for us, we didn't allow them. They averaged eight and a half threes a game. They, they made three threes. So we made sure we, we took care of them on the three-point sh shooting, too. So. Um, you know, we got to figure out ways to win games, and there's going to be days like this. So I thought a good sign. We kind of hung in there, and, and, and we just kind of grinded, you know, grinded, grinded one out. Steve, you've now allowed just 80 points over two games. I don't think the average fan understands what Jay Young does for your defense. What, what can you say about him and the way he's? he's well, I mean, guys? Jay, all my assistant coaches are terrific. You know, they all do a good job. They've all been head coaches, and, and you know, they obviously uh, do a great job. Today was Carl's scout, BU. Jay does a great job uh, on our defense. He keeps on top of these guys, and he's, um, you know, really prideful in that. And, and I think our offense has improved too. And Carl's our offensive coordinator, and we're scoring a lot more points, and we're sharing the game. We got cut down on our turnovers. Uh, Brandon Knight does an unbelievable job, special situations. You know, we ran that play at the end. Um, so, you know, everyone contributes just like our team. Everyone has to chip in and, and do their job. But Jay, you know, certainly a guy I feel you know, terrific and comfortable. I've been with Jay for a long time and, and does a really good job. But is this, is this the identity maybe of your team to be a defensive-minded team going forward? And is, this, is this proof that you've got, you know, two well, games, 36 and 44? And two yeah, games? I mean, I, well, I, you know, I told them all the time, you know, defense decides if we win the game or not, our offense by how much, you know, and, and that's a saying that we have. and. These guys have been part of, you know, good defensive teams the last couple of years. So we're experienced, you know, on that end. And now we got to bring some of these young guys along. You know, some of these young guys got to catch up to speed uh, with, with life in the Big Ten and life on the road and those kind of things. So if our defense continues to get better, it's going to, you know, bode well for us. Eugene, what was the key to you rebounding the ball at that rate today? Just one home there, just trying to rebound us, play hard. And just, like I always say, just leave my Play my hardest on the court and just help my teammates any way I can. How do you continue to play hard like that when the fouls are accumulating? Because you had to, you were in the game a lot with three or four fouls. Don't worry about it. Just the coaches having faith in me, my teammates, and just keep me positive minded and just letting me know that I should keep going hard. That the calls are not going to go against us sooner than later. Steve.
five, only five assists today. Was it something that BU was doing, or did you just feel the ball was sticking in hands too much? Yeah, I mean, we didn't make shots. So, you know, you can't get a lot of assists when the ball's not going in. So, you know, I thought we got some good looks, too. I thought our normal three-point shooters, um, you know, had good looks. So those would have been assists. But when you shoot at that clip, you're not going to get a lot of assists. Gio, how big of it was it for you to go out and, and, and set the tone a little bit offensively in the first half? Uh, you had 15 in, at, a, at the halftime, and then how much was that uh, maybe for you to go out there and set the tone a little bit offensively? Uh, yeah, I think it's just one of my jobs as a point guard is to come out and set the tone. Uh, I wanted to come out really aggressive today. I felt like I could get to the basket, I could make some plays, and um, you know I have really good teammates that were supporting me through it. So, yeah. Steve, you have a, a stretch upcoming where you have three games in six days. At trying, Miami, he's trying to ruin my ten <laughs> games. Uh, wh what do you think of that having um, a stretch? Yeah, like? brutal. Yeah, we got a, a, a tough stretch, but uh, you know that's the schedule that they give us, so we, we're going to go play it. And we're playing a great, you know, I think a, a Miami team with three pros, and then we're going to play obviously the number one team in our league, Michigan State, and then you know arguably the number two team in our league with uh, Wisconsin, who's playing at a really really high level at Wisconsin. So. Um, you know, some tough games. That's why these guys got to rest their bodies, and uh, we, we need a few days here to, to get our bodies right and our minds right, and hopefully we'll be well prepared. And we got short short prep time, so our young guys got to pick up a lot in a short period of time. Have you ever seen a stretch like that? I don't know if any other team in the country has a stretch like that this yeah, year. Yeah, I, I don't know. Not playing that, you know, the caliber of teams that we're playing, you know, in, in a five day window. It's, uh, yeah, it's a tough little stretch. Gene, so. I'm sorry, Steve. Gene, did you have any idea how many, you were kept collecting that many rebounds, or you just you know just, just going and keep going? You're just playing hard, keep going, just doing things, the little things on my team. Hey, Steve, when you look at the first ten minutes of the second half, what do you think it was that made it so difficult for you guys to score? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think we had one of those nights, and we didn't help ourselves. Every time we went to the foul line, it was a miss, and I thought we got good looks and. You know, I thought we went inside too. I thought we missed some layups that, you know, Miles is, you know, probably one of those guys that doesn't miss many layups at all in practice where, you know, he, he struggled to finish down around the basket. So, um, you know, I think it was, you know, accumulation and you got to give them credit too. Obviously, they're, they're a good basketball team. They played hard. Um, I thought we kind of changed it up in the second half. We got it to our pace a little bit and, you know, our full court pressure kind of, you know, helped generate, the, you know, some turnovers for us too. So I thought we kind of, um, did a good job creating our own energy, you know, down the stretch. But, you know, you're going to have nights like that. Hopefully we don't have many of them, but every team does it and uh, still come out with a W after not playing, you know, great on the offensive end or not seeing the ball going. How huge your so, performance was it for him in the first half? Yeah, I mean, Gio's good. Yeah, he's good. Um, and when he gets it going, he can he can score, uh, you know, high clips. But we need him to do a lot of things. He needs to defend, too. He needs to run our team. He needs to get assists. Um, you know, so he's got a lot of jobs he has to he has to do. But uh, he was locked in the last two games. You know, he's been locked in. I think Gene too, and that's really uh, you know veteran guy sign of a good veteran guy being locked into the game plan, locked into what he has to do. He's been very aggressive offensively and defensively, and he needs to stay stay that way. Thank I really you, everyone. Appreciate Thank you guys coming.